Hi guys, Nick here from noob to pro I hope you're doing great today. We've been talking all about the different creatures of Ark, how to tame them, what to do with them, and have they got any special abilities. Today, it's all about the Sarko. So, let's go find one. We're looking at the Sarko spawn map for the island, and as you can see, they're not very common, but they do spawn on the beaches and the swamp areas. Okay then, I think we've found one. Now, what we're going to do is keep this guy away from the water. They get far too fast in the water and they, they will kill you if they get you in the water. Also, don't try this in the swamp. Everything in the swamp wants to kill you and it's just going to turn bad for you. So, we're doing it on the beach here. We're quite a distance from him, so we're just going to shoot and back off for, for a while. But as he's getting a bit closer... We're going to adopt the shoot, turn, run, repeat. Now, we'll keep doing that until he is knocked out. We'll take a few shots. Won't take that many because it's only a level 12, I think it said. So, where's he gone? There he is. Two or three more shots and I think we should have him. Yes, he's on the run already. Great. One more shot should do it then. There we go, he should be out, let's see, and yes, he's unconscious, great. So, we're going to pop some kibble in there. We're using kibble because it's the most effective way of taming, I don't need all this, so I'll just pop a few in. Have a quick check of the area, as always, make sure that there's no little critters around, Dilaphosaurs, Compies, even Raptors, come along and wreck our tame completely. I don't think there is anything around, so we'll just have a quick look at the stats. We'll play jump up and down on its legs first. Quick look at the stats. We've got 480 there for the health. It's not great, but it's only a low level. We've got 540 stamina, the weight of 306. Now that's probably as low as you're going to get, because these guys usually have a good carry weight. It had 105 melee and 100 movement speed. So as I was saying, we are using kibble to tame. You can also use any of the meats. These guys prefer fish over regular raw meat. I will put a list up on screen as to the most efficient to the least efficient for you there. Their saddle is level 35. You make it in your own inventory and you make it out of cementing paste, fibre and hide. Now, it's going to take a while for this guy to even take a bite. It takes a good few minutes, so I'm going to jump forward to when she's tamed out. Okay then, she's just woke up. Level 17, yeah, just as we expected. Quick look at the stats. Doesn't look like she got any into the health or the stamina. Weight, it got maybe one level there. Uh, the big winners are the melee damage and movement speed, so that's great. Okay, so we'll get that kibble out and put the meat in, for, so she's got something to eat. Then we're going to get a saddle. What, oh, is that a Dilaphosaur I hear there? I think, yeah, right, okay, I'm just going to leave the Sarko to deal with the, the Dilaphosaur. And, yeah, she does it, no problem, it was only a level 8 anyway. So, we'll pop this saddle on as I was saying, and we'll see what she can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the stamina and speed. We'll do it on land first. Now, as you can see, this is her sprinting speed, and it's not that fast. And the stamina, you can see the icon in the top corner there, and the top right corner, and it's draining quite fast. When it gets down to the bottom, we'll see in just a moment, She's going to slow right down to her walking speed. Should be any time now. And there we go. You can see the status effect in the corner for out of stamina. Then I kept pushing forward there. And she got a little bit of stamina. Sprinted forward again and then stopped. That could cost you quite considerably if you were in a situation. So we'll watch the stamina go back up. It's taken a good few seconds. And that is her skills on land there now we'll try her in the water we'll put her onto her normal swimming speed which as you can see is quite fast there okay then we'll pop her onto the sprinting speed 
and you can see she's flying through the water there absolutely brilliant stamina still going down at about the same rate as it was on land i think it is the the exact same rate actually what's interesting is what happens when she runs out of stamina i'll keep pressing forward like i did when she was on land but this time she slows down to her swimming speed which as we've just seen isn't that much slower than the sprinting it's still quite fast and the stamina shoots back up and she sprints off again so once you've got her in the water she's absolutely brilliant great way to get around the waterways of the island so let's go pick a fight so we've got a megalodon here let's see what she can do against that a right, couple of just regular bites there and i'll be honest with you i find these things quite awkward to fight with sometimes right we've got another megalodon so this should be quite a good fight like i say i, f I find them quite awkward trying to turn around and what have you there's the death roll where you spin around but i'm out of oxygen so i've had to come back up these guys do not use oxygen so they can stay underwater all the time which is great but as you can see I'm, I'm actually struggling with these two sharks here right i think that's one of them gone let's try and do a, maybe another death roll now yeah I, it's doing some damage the thing is with the death roll it doesn't tell you how much damage it's doing whereas with the regular attack it does but as you can see i've lost quite a lot of health there and i'm running out I've, i'm out of air yet again so let's go back up to the surface get some air and we'll go back in for the fight again now oh the shark got a, a bite in as i was coming back down i think i'm i'm gonna win this fight yes i i have done but as you can see i've took quite a lot of damage there so I'm going to need to force feed to get my health back up before I do any more fighting. Just whilst I'm doing that, I'll tell you something else I found really useful about these guys is that they scare piranhas away. Now, I find that useful when, for instance, you're going to do a beaver dam. How many times have you got rid of the beavers? You go to the dam and piranhas start chewing on you. It's really annoying. Take one of these guys along with you, the piranhas go the opposite direction so i find that really really useful so let's just finish up force feeding her there we'll give her uh, those two levels into the health and we'll try and find something to fight on the land i'll just jump in the water to swim up a little bit uh what have we got there right uh, it's only a parasaur but i'll show you just a couple of snaps should do it oh if i get them on target there we go so, yep yeah, two three bites and that one's dead now was there another one was there a try that ah, right okay we'll use we'll do we'll do the death roll on this if we can get it as we said it doesn't actually show you the amount of damage you're doing but as you can see it's destroyed that parasol straight away the only thing is it drains your stamina considerably and as we've already said when you're on land it does take quite a while to go back up so got my stamina back up now and i'm just showing you the death roll on a smaller creature it actually picks a creature up spins it round and destroys it straight away anything else to try that on for just one more Is that a dodo there well that, it should do the dodo straight away one hit bang death roll yes and it's dead great so let's just try and find something a little bit bigger i did see a trike knocking about yep there he is so one more attempt on the i'll just show you the death roll on a, a large creature i know we've just done it on the parasaur but we'll we'll try it on this guy as well i'm just showing you these guys can it can be a little awkward fighting with them on land as well as in the water he's yeah he's doing some good damage to the trike but i'm out of stamina now if i carry on fighting the sarko is going to fall unconscious so i'm going to have to wait to let the stamina go back up before i carry on fighting a couple of death rolls i'm not even sure if i'm doing anything with those rolls there so i'll, I'll just bite it a couple of times and yeah there it is it's gone 
but as you can see again half life half half of the health has gone so there you go one more thing these guys are really useful for is collecting oil or pearls off the ocean floor they go straight down so they, they get to the floor very quickly you get the full rock of oil as you can see my oxygen is going down but i think i'm gonna get this rock i'm gonna get back onto the circle and i'm probably gonna get up before i start running out of oxygen maybe just about yet so that's absolutely brilliant i find them very very useful for that as well final thoughts on the circle then they're quite an easy tame as long as you keep them away from the water and remember to use fish meat over regular meat once you have got them tamed i find them very useful around the water their speed and their quick stamina regen is great however once you get them on land those skills are dramatically decreased i don't find the fighting skills that impressive however saying that if you want an amphibious mount they're your only choice until you get to level 49 when you can learn the baryonic saddle if you've learned anything from this video please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more of our videos like the ones being shown on screen right now thanks for watching have an amazing day